for Christmas. This girl right here, that's who. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Adventures with Amira. Okay, so I finally went to the Dollar Tree after waiting months and months and months. I found so many cute items, so let's get into it. First, I wanna talk about these little garlands. I saw some of these at Hobby Lobby for a lot more money, and for what we wanna do, this is actually the perfect weight of garland. So I have these posts on the front of my house, and I would like to wrap those like a candy cane. I have this big plan for my house. We're not probably going anywhere for Christmas. We're not traveling. And so I just want it all decorated this time. This year, I just am so ready for holiday festivities. And I found these today and we got a new paint job on our house finally and I was so scared about putting stuff up that's too heavy because I don't want anything messing with the paint. So I'm hoping that I can get painter's tape and probably just tape these at the top and the bottom where you wouldn't see it. But I've done that before with this type of garland and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do lights on it or not, but I bought red and I bought the white and red mix. I think this is so pretty. The way that the iridescence of these white pieces sparkles, I think it almost looks like light. So I told my husband, we we're gonna string it up out there. If I get it done, I'll try to show it to you guys in a later video, but that's what these are for. And I think I bought four of the red and four of the white and red mix. And I have other places in the house I could use them too, as well as on the tree. But that's my goal for these. And then, they have a lot of little Christmas candies and things out. I think I'm just gonna use some for stocking stuffers. I have a lot of ideas for like little gift baskets. It's so strange this year, you guys, about gifts. I don't know, like, should I just buy stuff from Amazon and send it to people? Should I mail stuff? With COVID, I'm just trying to be careful and I hate to make people uncomfortable, you know, like if you bring something to them. I found these today. I thought these were so cute. They're little marshmallows that you can put in hot cocos or whatever. And they're shaped like little Christmas trees and snowmen and candy canes. So I thought these were adorable. My daughter is going to be very happy about these. I got some of these candy. I find these every year and I was very happy that they have these. There's not many in a bag. I think there's only five in a bag or something like that. But they're so cute and they're so delicious. My whole family loves these. And they're just pretty to have out on display as well. I went ahead and picked up some spices because they had a lot of the holiday items up front. So I picked up some ground cinnamon. Now I have tons of cinnamon I use with cooking, but this is actually for my flowers. It's so hot still here in Florida, it's ridiculous. And the bugs have just been eating even my herbs and stuff. And so I was reading somewhere a while back that if you sprinkle cinnamon in the soil, it kills a lot of bugs or it repels them. Either way, I need all the help I can get outside with my herbs. So we're gonna try the cinnamon for that. I also use the cayenne pepper that they sell there to get rid of armadillos. I don't know if you guys saw one of my past videos about that, but we have pesky armadillos all the time and they hate cayenne pepper. So whenever I see them digging, I go behind them and put cayenne pepper in the holes and they don't come back normally for almost a year. So that's good news. Um, this is the pumpkin pie spice and believe it or not, my son has decided that he wants like gourmet oatmeal bowls every day. You'd swear he was taking Instagram photos or something. He doesn't even have Instagram. He's almost 16, but he's not into social media at all. But I showed him one day how I use pumpkin pie spice to like just zhuzh up my coffee or sometimes I would mix it in like apple cinnamon oatmeal or something and we use like the raw oats and do chia seeds and flax seeds and stuff like that. So now every time I buy pumpkin spice, it seems like it's gone like within a month. I'm like, I know I bought some. He's like, oh yeah, I use that in my oatmeal all the time. And I was like, okay, that's where all the pumpkin spice is going. But I think I might hide this one because I might actually need it for my holiday baking. So <laughs> I probably should hide this from him. And then I got a larger thing of cinnamon sugar. Sometimes if I make French toast or whatever, I'll use this while I'm making my recipe. So we like to have that on hand. And my daughter, she doesn't really eat a lot of syrup on her waffles or pancakes, so she'll usually use cinnamon sugar for that. And then I got some of these thankful plates. I just thought these were cute to have around just because we should all be more thankful. I mean, we're all here and safe, and so that's a blessing. Some more food items I got were the Czech mix. I don't know if you remember, it was probably six months ago, but I was talking about how they started getting this into the Dollar Tree, and my son just fell in love with this stuff. Then suddenly my husband wanted to eat it. And then I realized if I didn't get at least two bags at a time, I may never even get one little checks out of this thing. <laughs> so I started buying extras, but they just love it. So I was glad to find that. I found some flips, which is one of my favorite snacks. 
also found these really unique coconut roll. I also got some more of these Renuza air fresheners. This is called Blissful Apple and Cinnamon, which is kind of a holiday scent, but this reminds me so much of Disney World. Every time I let my family smell this, they say it smells like Disney because it smells just like Mickey's Feel Her Magic, which is kind of like a 3D movie that has scents and stuff while you're watching the movie. And one of the scents when they're doing the Be Our Guest part of the film for Beauty and the Beast, they're baking apple pies. And I swear, this smells exactly like that part of Mickey's Feel Her Magic. So we get it simply because it smells like Disney. Got some more candles. They actually had paper to wrap them this time. It's a miracle they, the poor things never have paper up there. And this is the pumpkin spice. These have a good throw on them. Believe it or not, the ones that are in the little baby mason jars, they just have a really good scent throw. I put them in my, I have a two-story foyer, and we burn them on one of our front console tables, and you can smell them through my hole downstairs. So that says a lot for a dollar candle. They also had a hot cocoa one one time, and that smelled really good as well. Speaking of, I'm burning this Bath and Body Works hot cocoa and cream candle, you guys. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. If you haven't ever smelled it, you should try it. It smells just like hot cocoa. I also found these little incense burners today. At first, I didn't realize what they were. They had one with a little head like this, and then they had one that had a hamsa symbol with the hand, and then they also had an elephant one that was in all black. And I was like, huh, that's an interesting little, I thought it was a jewelry dish. And then I look closer and I see that there's a little hole here. So you just put the incense stick in there and then it just burns and it catches it like a little ashtray. But I thought these were so cute for Christmas presents, little stocking stuffers. I like them. I also found one of these little black cherry candles. And you guys, it smells so good. Kind of like cherry chapstick, but way more intense. When my husband and I first got married, we used to get these candles at Walmart. They were black cherry. And this reminds me so much of that. I know when I burn this, he's gonna have a big smile on his face because it reminds me of our first little apartment that was like $395 a month. And it was so small, but we loved it because it was ours. <laughs> but anyway, this smell reminds me so much of that. And I tried to order one of those Woodwick candles from Walmart that kind of like has a little crackling wood thing in the middle similar to the Dollar Tree ones But bigger and black cherry. It doesn't smell anything like black cherry. It actually gave me a headache Smell kind of like high school bathroom cleaner. Remember how the bathrooms used to smell? That's what it reminded me of. Oh, it was awful This however smells amazing and it was only about I had another one of these I picked up too And this is the snuggle version homemade apple pie I don't know what this one's gonna smell like but I thought I would just give it a try It's cute with the little bear on it for my daughter's room. Then I got some more of my favorite cleaning products I absolutely love these sponges They have the harsher scrubby part on one side and a regular sponge on the other My son always uses these like when he's cleaning my nonstick pans He does the dishes mostly around here now. I'm so proud of him and he really likes these sponges. Now getting him to remember to throw them out once a month is another story. But I try to always have backups of these and I get them when they're in the three packs instead of the two packs. And then I also really love this heavy duty shower cleaner. I'm teaching my daughter to do our bathroom tub that's downstairs, the one that the kids use. And it just gets it because she uses such heavy conditioners i feel like it just gets like this different type of soap scum in it and this is one of the few things that breaks it up now the only thing if it gets heavier because we have a mat in there too so we pull that out and if it feels like it, it doesn't want to clean as well something that i've used as a trick lately is i just do baking soda in there first and kind of wet that and let her scrub that around and then use this and it's just like a one-two punch it's amazing it's better than all the other expensive bathroom foams. I really, really like this. And it doesn't ever like spray like crazy all over the place. Even the Kaboom one that I had for my bathroom, it was a hot mess. There was like blue bleach stuff flying everywhere. <laughs> my husband's like, what is that smell? I'm like, the expensive bathroom cleaner. I should have stuck with the Dollar Tree one, but if you guys are looking for a good cleaner, I really recommend this one. I got one of these brushes just because I think this will be good to help clean out the sink and just make it easier. I have a short handle one, but I think this will be easier for like the garbage disposal part of it. I got some of this Dawn dish soap, some of the best soap on the planet to clean furniture, clean stains out of stuff. This is the deal right here. I'm telling you, we don't normally use this necessarily for the dishes all the time unless we have something really greasy, which we don't normally fry much stuff here. I got one more regular dish soap. I just got the palm olive. I normally use the palm olive that's like a lavender color 
and we have it kind of in like a decanter in the kitchen but I got this just because my son loves green I was like if he's doing dishes all the time he might as well be looking at a color he likes also got some more Ziploc bags you guys these jumbo size Ziploc bags are amazing I use these for like crafts I use them for storing Christmas items all kinds of stuff hardly ever use these for food but when I've packaged up stuff when the kids were younger for school or pack up additional outfits or like little blankets to keep in the car, I keep them in these Ziploc bags. Also, when I donate things to Goodwill and stuff, if I have like items like smaller toys and stuff, I love to use these bags to donate them in so it's not just boxes of random stuff. So I was happy to find these. I don't normally find this size at my Dollar Tree, but they were there today. And then I also got these 13 bag um, of the gallon size, and this is a pretty good deal, so I really like these as well. I got some more paper towels. I love these paper towels that come apart like this into smaller sections because my kids just use them in the morning like for waffles and things like that, so these are some of our favorite paper towels. Here are the little bottle brush trees that I found, and I got these in two different colors. They have the little flocked ones, and then they have these. I really want to do a little Christmas village on one of my shelves downstairs. I haven't done it in years, but I think my daughter will enjoy it. And I've just got to find my little houses that my husband stored somewhere. I think they may be in our garage attic, but these are going to go well with that little scene I'm doing. And I also found this. How cute is the sign, you guys? This house believes in Santa. I actually have a shirt I've been wearing for years and years at Christmas. I use it as pajamas now, but it's like a long sleeve red shirt, and it says, I still believe in Santa. Which I do, because if you don't believe in Santa in our house, you may not get any Christmas presents. <laughs> At least that's what I tell my kids. They're like, okay, Mom. And that's the first time I've seen this specific sign this year. I also found these little house ornaments. I think these are adorable. We already have one of our trees lit and already up. We did it on November 1st. It's like a small entryway tree. I was so excited, you guys, for Christmas. Like, November 1st, I was like, Halloween's over, Merry Christmas like seriously so we were already hanging little ornaments and i think these are just small enough these will be a nice addition to that tree but i just thought these were cute you could do like little diys with these you could put them inside the little snow globe looking things i mean there's so many things you could do this you could do like a little vignette with these and the little bottle brush trees to make a pretty tablescape they have a multitude of uses and they came at my store they were in the little red houses and then also the little gold houses you have a lot of glitter fallout but that's the story of my life the leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes that was about people like me I anything glittery that probably makes a mess there's like a trail behind me my husband always laughs when he finds glitter then I also found also a glitter bomb or these little ornaments but I think these stars are so pretty I just had them in gold at my store but I love them I think that they could be used for a lot of different decorative things like to do on gifts like with a gift tag or something like that and you could also make little crafts out of these but I thought they were pretty. I got some Pedialyte just in case any of us were to get sick during flu season. I always try to have one of these on hand in the house just because they're so good if somebody in your family becomes dehydrated. I know normally people think of these for babies, but I've kept these on hand for years and years. Some people say drink like Gatorade for electrolytes, but we always use Pedialyte. Got some Colgate Sparkle White Toothpaste, and this is in the cinnamon flavor. My husband did not like this at first, but it's kind of grown on him. I really like it. It's minty, but it doesn't burn my tongue. I don't know if you guys have had that experience where something's too, like, foamy and minty, and it almost starts to feel like you're having an allergic reaction to it. Maybe it's just me. You guys know I'm allergic to almost everything. But the cinnamon does not do that. It doesn't taste much like cinnamon, but it's just enough to cut down on how strong the mint is. And I really love Colgate toothpaste. I always have, so... I would highly recommend it. Some little eye drops just because this is good to have with allergies and whatnot. I like to have something like this on hand. And now for the fun stuff. So I found these little Biore charcoal micellar waters, which I was surprised to find at Dollar Tree. So I went ahead and grabbed a few of these. They're a perfect size for travel or like little stocking stuffers or if you want to do like spa gift baskets. I can think of so many things. I found this herbal toothpaste and it's charcoal activated cool mint have you guys tried this i think the kids would think this was hilarious if they start brushing their teeth and i know it's going to be black <laughs> so i was interested to see if you guys had tried this before i have not tried it myself i also found the little bamboo charcoal toothbrushes 
which is all in that same line of stuff, I guess, to try to be more eco-friendly. I think these are biodegradable. I found these little facial scrubbers, and these are really good because they're easy to sterilize. After you get bacteria from your face onto them, you can clean them pretty well because they're made out of rubber. You actually could put these in the top rack of the dishwasher. I've done that before. And they last a pretty good while, but I trust these more than just regular washcloths all the time for my face. So I like to use these for exfoliation. I found some of this Dove Extra Fresh for men. It smells so good, you guys. I was gonna give this to my teenager. I found some of these Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liners. And they look like they'll probably be more like a nude liner. The colors are Sand Nudes and Doll in Love again. One looks more like a goldish nude, and this one has more of a peachy nude tone to it. But I'm teaching my little girl how to use makeup, and I figured these would be more in line with her natural lip color. She kind of has more berry lips, but just with her outside of her skin tone. I don't do well with lip liners, to be honest, you guys. I don't have the patience to do it. The only thing I've learned now, you can get clear lip liner, which just goes with everything. So you don't have to pack a whole lot of stuff if you're traveling. You got one lip liner, goes with every color. That's, that's where I've ended up in life. I went from makeup artist with 9,000 things of makeup all the time and the time to do it to uh, what's the easiest, simplest way to get out the door if I have to go somewhere, that's where I'm at. Speaking of makeup, I found this little cushion makeup and this is called the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation SPF 15. This is in tawny or medium deep neutral and you guys, it is the perfect skin tone match for my little girl. We went to like a little outdoor thing um, where she had a few little girls that had gone and it was like an elven theme party and she's never dressed like an elf or anything, so I had to put this outfit together like at last minute off Amazon, and she had a little bow and the arrows, and I was trying to do kind of like fairy or elven makeup or whatever on her, and she was like, Mom, you're gonna do too much makeup. I don't wanna look. I was like, Mommy knows how to do makeup, trust me. And so she was like, that stuff's gonna be too orange, and then after I got it on her face, she was like, did you put it on there? I was like, yes. And she was like, oh, I can see how you blended stuff. Like I just touched up a few little things on her face, like under her eyes and little different things. But it was so cute. My husband thought it was the sweetest thing because he was like, oh, she has on a tiny bit of makeup, you know, just to go for this like costume thing. But she's totally not interested in wearing makeup yet. But when she gets into makeup, if she ever does, I want her to know how to wear makeup. I've talked about that in another video. But so when I see things that I think will match her skin tone, I always just pick them up. And this works so well on her. It's interesting. I have it downstairs in the other bathroom, but it's actually like a little compact, this kind of like a wet cushion type makeup. I had one of those a long time ago from a different brand and I've never used it myself. It says it contains natural coconut derivatives, but it worked really well. It kind of gl it glided across her skin really easily and it blended in and just the color match was unreal. I was like, whoa, but it had good coverage too, which is unique. I don't know if this is discontinued and that's why it's at Dollar Tree, but I wouldn't mind trying this out for myself if they have this in my skin tone. Let me know, you guys, if you have tried this before and what you thought, but I thought it worked amazingly well. And then finally, I got this Relief Soothing Oatmeal Bath Treatment. Now, I got that just because sometimes in our family, we break out in hives from random stuff. I mean, there's poison ivy and everything else all over Florida, so you never know what you might get into hiking in the woods or whatever. But I try to always have this on hand. And I normally have the Aveeno brand, but we're out. And this actually says, compared to the Aveeno active ingredient, which is just oatmeal, to be honest, you probably could just make a regular oatmeal bath. But I bought this and it says it's good for itches, rashes, poison ivy, oak, sumac, eczema, insect bites, and sunburn. And the thing with my daughter is when she gets bit with insects, she had gotten bit before we went to this like little inlet and to go snorkeling and there were fire ants and you know they were raised in Colorado so they're not really aware of fire ants and my poor baby she didn't even realize she had stepped into a bed and before I could get them off of her they were, she was just eating up and so stuff like that is good to have in case your kids get into something or your husband. All right you guys thanks so much for stopping by I have missed talking to you guys thank you to my, all my lovely subscribers who've reached out to me I've gotten so much mail from you guys. I've gotten the sweetest postcards. 
Thank you to the subscribers who also have bought some of my daughter's jewelry from her business. If you haven't seen the 11th Galaxy video that I made a while back, she started her own little business during the pandemic, just trying to make like healing crystal bracelets and things to just bring a little love and light to people's life. And so I've had people ordering jewelry that they're having custom made. And she just is tickled as can be. She thinks it's just amazing. She's like, mommy, nobody's gonna ever buy stuff. She's made all the money I invested in her business and then some because I told her she had to pay me back 50% of what she made until she paid off the $500 investment. I spent a little more than that, but that was what she had to pay back and she's already paid me back and everything. So she's done such a good job and I just appreciate you guys for reaching out and supporting her. You didn't have to do that, but I do appreciate it. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for that too. I have other videos coming up. I've got like five or six videos I'm trying to record in the next three days while there's no mayhem. It's crazy with two kids homeschooling and my husband working at home 90% of the time. He's in conference calls all day and he's really loud when he talks just naturally. And then my dog barking and construction across the street. I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot ever film. So I haven't forgotten you. I just wanted to tell you that. Thanks so much and have a good week. Bye-bye. <coughs> Christmas memories